Hey, welcome back, and let's draw another House of the Dragon character, and let's draw King Viserys this time. And the lighting is pretty cool on this side. It's got some side lighting um, here, which is kind of interesting. And the expression I really like is we're kind of looking slightly from the bottom, so might be a little bit different this time. So something different. All right, so let's draw this, and I'm just going to continue using my 6B. And I got a brand new one here because all my other ones are so short already. And these six speeds, they run out really fast because it's such a soft pencil. All right, so let's see. Let's start with the eyes. Let's just say maybe that wide apart overall. And then from there, I'll just start sketching and see how that goes. Again, my size is always a little bit off. So I'm not really constrained to by, um, by this line. But it just kind of gives me like an overall uh, guideline for it. Okay, so here's the corner of his eye on the inside. Now remember, it's going to be slanting down slightly. So it looks like the bottom is going to be... The corner of um, the eye on the outside is going to be slightly lower. Hope I can get that expression of his. So it's going to slant down. Maybe even more. Okay, so let's say that's the eye shape, and then the eyeball. Let's see how's that. I think that looks okay. Okay, so it's not too big, so it's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and shade this. So nice and dark on the top here. There's a gap here. This is actually pretty important. Right here, it's the lower lid, so we want to keep that gap there. So the highlight's right here. Let's just push that in, turn my pencil, get it nice and sharp. Pupil. I'm pushing it pretty hard right now, so I won't be able to erase this if I get it wrong, but let's just go for it. Looking a little strange, maybe maybe I got it slanting too much. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much. Okay, let's see if I can let's keep going. You can always try to fix it later. Let's see. It's got a very a lot of folds on the eyes here, which is kind of cool to draw. So let's come up here with this line. This goes up around here. Little line here. Little side lighting here. Yeah, very complicated, but cool. So it's something different from this angle, especially with this expression of his. Now right here is a huge black area, so I'm just going to draw that. So this is the bridge of his nose. This comes down right here. And now let's draw in some of the brows so it doesn't look so weird. This could be a very challenging drawing here. See his brow. Just looking back and forth. I'm trying to draw the bottom, I'm trying to sketch in the placement of this. And then, of course, his hair, so. Let's give it some direction. Okay, yeah, very strange here. Actually, a lot of, a lot of strange things. I'm not used to drawing these. It's almost like an alien. We're not even sure what we're looking at right now if you just look at this thing. Okay, so 
So if I shade this a little bit more, let's come in here, highlight here, and it gets much darker in here. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to shade this too dark for, uh, you know, let's just go ahead. Let's just go for it. Okay, let's try that. And let's now let's draw on the, um, the nose right here. So here is the, um, the Terminator right here. So there's not a lot of dark spark because the light from both sides almost fills up, uh, you know, kind of evenly on both sides. Of course, this side is a little bit bluish. So let's come down here for his nostril. If I look down, it's right around here. And if I look at the angle, it's probably right around here. So we know it's going to be right here. Let's try that. Yeah, very strange shapes here. This is definitely very different drawing from this angle. So here's the nostril. Okay, one line in the middle again. I guess it's the terminator. And then let's draw in the other nostril. So let's see how wide is his nose. So it's almost the width of the eye. Something like that maybe. Yeah, very strange. Should I, I'm thinking, should I draw more of this nose right here? All right, let's go ahead. I was thinking of coming over and drawing his eye because if I shade this too much, if I realize the placement is off, then that might be the end of this drawing. But let's just go for it. The nostril is very dark. The shadow here, so this part is really dark. This is all side lighting here. This is kind of bluish. Let's just shade it like that first. So let a nostril here. So this is not completely dark. I mean, you see how this kind of tucks in? There's a little bit of... um. This part right here is a little bit lighter, it comes out. It's very subtle. Highlights right here. Okay. And then the mustache. We can leave that later. Let's go ahead and draw on the other eye because the one I'm concerned about, this could be way off. So the other eye, so somewhere around here maybe. Looks like it's slightly lower. You know, our faces generally are not symmetrical, so. So again, I'm gonna try to draw the eye shape. Make sure I get the slant right. Now, if I draw the eye like this, what what I can do is I can check it against this angle right here to the nose. Make sure it's similar. So here and here, so I get the width correct. Okay, so close enough, I think. Okay, now that I have this eye, now it looks um, a little bit more normal, right? Now we can recognize what it is. Okay, so I think this is okay. Let's just go for it then. Very cool eyelid. Okay, so the eye highlights right here. Pupil is all dark here, and then this part lines up. Looks like it's the eye right here is almost getting bounce light from his nose because he's got a really tall bridge. So you see how this right here is lighter? And if you look on this side right here, you can bounce that from this, and his eyes right here is a little bit bluer. 
so you can actually see that it's kind of cool here here there's a little highlight here it's much darker in here can very deep eye socket right here here and then let's draw in some of the line on this eyelids which is really cool gives them that expression and then the eyebrow let's see well let's draw in the bridge so we let's see this line here crease crease eyebrow let's see on this side should be pretty similar on this side It's very strange right here. A lot of little things. Okay, so his eyebrow is not as uh, well defined because it just kind of blends away with his skin right here. So it's a little bit harder to see. So you just kind of have to shade you know whatever it is that you see and try not to draw like an eyebrow just just shade it and the eyebrow will show itself if we shade it correctly okay so here this part is wrong all right i think it looks okay but it doesn't necessarily uh, look like him right now Let's shade in this a little bit more. Highlight here, so this part is slightly darker. And the shading here, I'm just kind of filling in lightly with these kind of wiggly shapes. Because it is pretty light right here. You know, once I get the initial, once I set something in, then I can go in and cross hatch or whatever, make things darker. It's nice to have one layer in there to work from. Okay, so let's draw in the cheek then. We're up here actually. So this part's slightly darker. So the cheekbones right here, I'm just gonna draw this line, the shadow. Come down here. Okay, so maybe I should draw. Well, let's draw the mouth. Okay, let's draw the mouth. So the mustache. Obviously, we're not gonna draw every ind individual hair. So let's see the width of this. Right over this nose right here. I'm just trying to doubling the space. It's probably right around here for his lip, and then the corner. Looks like from the eye, straight down, so somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, let's try that. So let's see on this side, same thing. Let's see, the eye comes down here. And it looks like, no, it's the same. I thought it's gonna be a slant. To his mouth. So it looks like the corner of the mouth is the same, but he's got an expression here. And the, the way the lighting is, it just kind of throws everything off. So the corner of the mouth right here is the middle. This comes in. This kind of tucks in a little bit. Got a very deep crease right, crease right here in the middle. I think my face is a little too long. 
it's a little wide. Mustache. Yeah, this angle is really throwing me off. All right, let's keep going. Slip. Just gonna give this one shade because it is red, so it should be a little bit darker. Here. This part's dark here, comes back out and then gets darker here again. Because this kind of tucks in, or down. This part's pretty dark here. And then the lower lip, it's not as well defined. Highlight here, I'm gonna to try to keep that. And then here's the underneath. So this part's always darker. And he's got mustache here, so. So again, you see this shape right here? That's like a little this kind of rounds inward, so that's why you get that. Okay, let's see how it looks. I think I've got the, I'm looking at it, it looks a little skewed. Looks like this nose needs to go wider. It just looks like it's skewed this side. And that's normally what happens when I draw. Just the angle from where I'm standing. Let's draw in the, uh, the side of the face here so that we can sketch in and really try to fill things up. So right now I just saw the features are just floating here. Here, and we're gonna see more of the chin because we're seeing it from the bottom here. You guys can see this. Let's see the the width of the chin. So let's. I'm just gonna judge this from from the bottom of the lip. If I go up, right to the nose, right around here, that'll be the the distance. So if I double that, so it should be somewhere around here. So I was okay. A little bit close. I mean, again, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing. Uh, of course, it can it can still be off, but at least it gives us something to work from. Here, Here, here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this angle really challenge is challenging me to, you know, forget what I see and just draw. Uh, I mean, forget what I think I see and just draw what you see. Because it's, this angle really throws you off. Okay, so here, the bottom, there's not much going on. I'll draw that later. Let's come back to the head here okay so let's fill in just a little bit uh, more of this and I'll try to probably um, shade this with the camera off so I can see and hopefully correct some of the shapes here so let's see the top of the head uh, if I double if I double the nose area that should be the top here Okay, so his face is longer. Okay, so let's fill it. Let's fill it in. Okay, so this is all in the shade from the main light on the side. This is darker. Let's try to get that lighting here. This is darker. This is kind of strange here, okay. This is 
much darker. So there's a line that comes run, running all the way down here. And that's the terminator for the light. So for uh, things like the mustache here, you can just draw in these little short strokes you know, so that you leave some of the whites and hopefully that can that'll sh that'll show up you know, looking like hair. And I wouldn't spend too much time doing that because it is very tedious. Um, you know, we can simplify things. Even things like that looks okay. We can always add more detail to it later. But let's add in the more important features first. So this lip needs to be a lot darker. Highlight here, here's the cheekbone. Now that I filled in more of the face here, it feels more like a head. <laughs> and at the beginning, it was just really strange because of the angle. Here, the top. So the highlights here, here. This kind of sinks in a little bit lighter here. So these are really sketchy uh, strokes, but it gives a nice, you know, at least you know the value, you know, just slightly lightly. And then we can always keep going darker and darker. Okay, and then let's see the hair. Out, so this part's dark inside. So that's gonna really help to uh, bring out this face right here. I'll go this way. And then all this is going to be darker. So for the white part out here. Same thing here. Okay, so I think, let's see, looking, I'm just trying to look at it from afar. Looks like, yeah, something is off. I can't really tell right now. There's enough things that's off that's throwing, throwing everything off. I think the nose needs to be a little bit higher something but overall um, I'm gonna have to put my head over it and hopefully I can correct some of the features and then uh, do a more complete rendering and hopefully I'll show you guys a much much better drawing after this all right so here's the final drawing and I I know it's very different from uh, what I shown on screen and that's because it's just a lot more little shading a lot of little shorter strokes and just try to get the, uh, the basic form um, one of the things that's really important is to be able to get this light source that kind of runs all the way down from here, down here, all the way down here. So it's like once you have this terminator um, area, then you start feeling the head. And that's kind of one of the things I was missing uh, at the beginning. Uh, also on the nose right here as it runs down. So the more challenging part was to fix the lightness. And I think Overall, my angle on this is all wrong. The nose, the nose needs to go up a lot more. This is way too long. And that's something I missed at the beginning. So there's really not much I can do other than I did make his eyes a little bit bigger and then kind of push up his nose just a little bit wider just to make things a little bit bigger, just to shorten up that little, the, the gap in between. But uh, that is it for this one. I'm not gonna correct anymore. I think I had a lot of fun. Definitely learned a lot uh, by sketching this. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, find this helpful and I will see you guys next time.